I'm so relieved you're okay, Brittany. It was a close call. I never would have made it without those yellow Pikmin. These little guys sure are helpful. If our mission is a success, we should have a party to thank all of the little Pikmin. Hello everyone and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Last time, we went to the distant tundra in search for Charlie. This time we see if we can find him. So we actually made a lot more progress than I thought I'd be able to last episode. And I do have a strategy here, I'm just gonna get 30 of every Pikmin, or 30 of every Pikmin. With the exception of reds being one more. And I want to start out by taking this guy over here. It's less, less if he's just in the way of something I want to grab real quick. And there's not much he can do about it himself, so... I'll give it to the rocks. The rest of the picking can start doing that. And I will need... 20 pickings or something. Brittany, can you grab these and just cycle here real quick? I know Pikmin are struggling there, they'll be fine. Because over here we have an item I could have grabbed yesterday but kind of forgot about. This thing looks so familiar. I need to get back to the Drake so I can analyze it. It takes only 10 Pikmin to carry, I thought it would take more. Anyway, those Pikmin were able to get through just fine. So I'll start taking these guys down. So a rock Pikmin will always take them down guaranteed and then you can just form them with the rest of your Pikmin. I'll give these to these groups of Pikmin for now. Analyzing. Oh, a message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. This is an optional part that adds a dodging feature to a regular whistle. This is a great way to customize my spacesuit. Wow, there's even a manual with it. Let's see if it in the exploration notes. So basically now, by hitting left or right, I can... Uh, perfect! I'll be able to dodge a few more attacks with this. I can now just dodge left and right and have all the Pikmin follow with me. But for now, I want the Pikmin to start working on that. And I grab these notes as well. For now, I want Brittany to head back to- wait, hold on. I do need actually one of the captains to be over here. Actually, what I need them over here for was so I can start grabbing that. Just some extra stuff that can help us, because we don't actually have any yet. I just realized we haven't collected any yet. Oh, okay, you there are actually quite, uh, are actually dangerous. Analyzing. The SS Drake is calling us, uh, again. Committing analysis of recovered plant. Large amounts of ultra spicy essence detected. Unsuitable by c for consumption by crew members. Hmm. But perhaps it could be useful in some other way. Let's collect some more and see. Right then, now, as I was doing, I want to take you down real quick. And then, where's Brittany, real quick? Okay, I want to send Brittany over here for now. Yeah, so let's start bringing that back. Now, I noticed there's a wall I could dig out behind the base, but I kind of don't need to do that right now. 
So I'm gonna send everyone down here. There's another one of these plants. I wanna grab that. If I send Brittany up here, I can grab this. I just wanna make sure she's actually up there first. And now, let's go through here. There's a, there's a fruit right there we can just go ahead and grab. And I'll have the rest of them just wait over there for now. That way we can just make sure to grab them when I eventually need them. So for now let's just head through these caves real quick and I guess I can send Alf I can't see him while he's walking. I guess I can send Alf over here by himself. And while I have Brittany, I could start collecting some more of uh, these pellets. Look, the Drake is calling. Sufficient nectar gathered. On some planets, this nectar is used as a pick-me-up spray. Press Y to use an ultra spicy spray and invigorate the Pikmin in your squad. Ultra spicy nectar can also be obtained from sources other than berries. Explorers can collect it directly when they find it. You have a rare chance to find it and you just pick it up that way. Okay, so I press Y to use the spray on my Pikmin squad. I can't wait to see what happens. Alright, so first off, while Alpha is doing that. I'll go ahead and collect just some uh, of these pellets. I mean, I might as well as use the Pikmin while I have them. Alpha is here, and before I go take control over Alpha again, why don't I send these guys to start working on this? Oh, hey, I actually didn't collect that last time, so it's back. And I won't let you in my Pikmin. We're good. And you can work on that. First off, I want to go over this way. Someone's been through here. I want to just throw a bunch of yellows up here. This is normally, in the original Pikmin 3 at least, where you could first get Nectar. A little bit late in if you ask me. If I dismiss all my Pikmin here real quick, I can go ahead and grab this file. To the survivors, looks like someone took a tumble here in the fresh snow. Perhaps someone else is stranded here. If anyone is reading this, there are several electrical contraptions in this area. I buried something here in the snow. Hopefully it's useful. Right, and looks like Reds get that just out of the fact they did it first. First off, you're going down, yeah, you're not going to last long. And then, do you suppose this is where the captain crash landed? I'll give that to... The Rocks. I want some Pikmin to start working on these things, because there's stuff under here. Right, yellow should be able to grab that by themselves. And same with this one. It's just a red pellet. I sent enough out Pikmin out for that. Hey, what's this thing? It looks really familiar somehow. Let's get it back to the drake, so I can analyze it a little more closely. Right, uh, we will... We only need 10 Pikmin to work on this. So I'll start that going. Just because this red's gonna take a while by itself, I'm gonna give two reds to work on that. Seems like they got it. So that's being carried out, let's continue on. Shall we? 
And I remember this area just from a little bit ago. It... Oh, and this too, if I'm correct. Yep. The only difference is now these guys can actually attack. What's that I'm sensing? With 10 Pikmin, I can do this. What was that thing? The Copad Raider picked up a life sign, but could it be that thing got the captain? Well, only one way to find out. This thing also, upon defeating it, gives nectar. Something nice to keep in mind. Well, I'm here, I'll just start grabbing this fruit as well. And let me grab the, these rocks over here with Brittany and just send her back here. Alright, so he's got that. Brittany's arrived, that's good. And I want to enter. I definitely am not going to be winning now. But I can start this. First off, I want to take this out when I get the chance. As later on, that can spawn enemies. And I want to go out just here real quick. Well, actually, before I do this, before I do this, come on. Oh, man, too late. I wanted to show off a glitch, but it's fine. Now, this leads us right back over here. Just a little shortcut you can use. We'll send Alf back there, and... Oh, did I lose a Pikmin? I guess I did. And I never noticed either. So quick question, is that all the Pikmin out in the field? Yes. Analyzing. Oh, a message from the Drake. Analyzing recovered item. This undergarment makes any spacesuit electricity resi resilient. This is a customizable option for spacesuits. Wow, there's even a manual with it. Let's keep it in the exploration notes. Prevents you from getting zapped. Great manual. Nice. Now I can touch electrified objects without getting hurt. So back when we were doing Pikmin 2, that technology, from what I can tell, didn't even exist. Meaning, that technology has been developed by Olimar ship and is now just ready for consumer consumption, basically. Which is pretty incredible that they advertise that fast, considering and that is definitely a great boost for Kopai's uh, money situation. Anyway, if I start grabbing this while I'm here... And Brittany got back just in time. I actually, yep, I figured that would happen. Let's send Pikmin here. This will stun the phase bat. I don't know how to pronounce his full name. But now you're free to start just whacking it. I think I'm gonna do with Brittany. Actually, wait a second. I don't think it likes the light. Yeah, it doesn't. I want Brittany to go back to the ship, and we have enough spicy spray for now. So I want her to go call back all the Pikmin. We're we'll waiting for her to do that. If the the uh, phase bat's not nearby, then you can't stun him. Anyway, now. Those things will spawn basically mini phase bats. So there was inside that pod. Uh, I think I should move. Yeah. Okay, now uh, Brittany, real quick. Oh wait, there's yellows here. Let's just call back all the Pikmin real quick and 
Yeah, they should be fine. Let's see, there's some reds coming in from over there. They should be all heading back now, so... Yeah. Once those reds make it back, I want to call them over here. Now, there is actually another light bulb over there you can do. <coughs> Sorry, bless me. For that, uh, I guess. But anyway, for now, I want to keep just grabbing these, these, uh, pieces of, I guess, pot. Despite the fact that their enemies running through here, they can't easily grab the Pikmin running, so they, they'll be fine. I never had any issues with that before. Please say it didn't just cause more pieces to go back there. Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, that's actually enough to complete the bridge. But if I wanted to, you can do all of that without completing the bridge by just kind of, uh... Well, long story short, how do I explain this? You can throw the other captain closer to make it so you don't need everyone there. Sure, it's not intended, but you can do it. Right, I should have all the Pikmin. Let's actually send them up over here. Meanwhile, with Alf, I'm detecting a power surge. This is a good job for the other Pikmin. Oh wait, we're almost out of time? Well, let's see if we can take this guy out quickly. And with that, the fight can finally begin. I'm going to charge all of my Pikmin just at him. Call him back. I want my Pikmin back here as well. He's going over there. Right then. Time to use some Ultra Spicy Spray. The Pikmin are really fired up now. The Ultra Spicy Essence seems to give them more energy. Ultra Spicy Essence does more than that. It also instantly turns your Pikmin into Flower Pikmin and keeps them that way. Anyway, ground him and you can just warm him. Though, if I had a guess, I would say that effect you just put on our Pikmin to stun them like that would be poison. Which means if White Pikmin were going to be in the main story, then that's most likely he would be a poison element of boss that you could use Whites to deal with more easily. Now hopefully I... Now I should have enough Reds here to... No, I don't. don't. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Just call your Pikmin. Okay, we're good. We'll start seeing some Pikmin up here. You so I have to sit, hit with normal reds, but not yellows, because they can be thrown farther. And I don't need any more spicy spray. We got them. It's great to see you, Alf. I'm unharmed, but I must apologize for my stench. The inside of a monster's belly is no flower garden. Until I have a chance to clean up, just breathe through your mouths. Now I'm sure you dropped everything to find me first, so I'll lead the search for a crashed ship, then we can fly off. Sorry, sir. We found the ship first. But uh, I'm afraid to say, the cosmic drive key is lost on PNF 404. It's gone? But without that, we're stranded here. We'll be doomed, and Kopai will starve. Wait a second. I found a data file in, that be in the belly of the beast. I thought it was just some old junk data at the time, but maybe not. Read it for yourselves. I found a key today. It says something about a cosmic drive on it. 
I doubt it's worth much, but it'll be a nice souvenir for my son if I ever get back to Hoctite. So my search for treasure continues. I'll stop at nothing to find the ultimate prize. I just know there's gold on this planet somewhere. Captain Olimar. You see, this Olimar fellow filed this report. Only recently, that key is our cosmic drive key. Do you know what that means? He must have landed on PNF 404 shortly before we did. We must find him somewhere on this planet, or be stranded here forever. So that means we need to find Captain Olimar before he takes off. Another thing to note is if I was unable to get this big creature back to our base in time, bosses have... Okay, I'll have to be coming back to this later. But bosses have two days where you can come back before they despawn. So, yeah, I, I have to do that tomorrow because there's no way I'm getting him back. And I don't- I think we should be fine, but just in case. It says there's zero Pikmin in danger, so I'll just end the day. So this is the first time we had Charlie sending back Pikmin, and normally I'm pretty sure he's be the, he'll be the one in control, but that might also be Alf. I don't really remember. We'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> New fruit, yes! So we first off we have the Dawn Pustules, and I'm just gonna fast forward these because they take a little bit. The Dapper Blob. And having analyzed several different types of fruit, we are now able to triangulate fruit fleet position. We can now use our radar to locate fruit. It just shows on the radar, which is very useful in the Dark Pustules. Until we find Olimar and get our key from him, the three of us will be stuck on PNF 404. It's more important than ever for us to find food. This is great. We actually have a little bit of juice buffer. It'll be 14 days. So before I go any further, there's something I want to talk about. I would have talked about it earlier, but there was no time because the day ended. You can actually, on day one, beat the phase bat by glitching out of bounds and going into the cave backwards with Charlie. This will also cause him to talk to himself. I... Oh, I did lose... I want to also see where I lost these yellows. If I have to guess, it's when I was over here the first time. So you can just kind of have Charlie talking to himself. And I think control two Charlies, I'm not exactly sure. But this means you can beat the entirety of Pikmin 3 Deluxe in the demo. And it... Yeah, I did lose them there when they were fighting that thing, I remember. But yeah, that... The fact that you can do that is just insane, and <laughs> yeah. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna ins wait. Hold on, why is it not showing the right? It doesn't show stuff if I'm not here on this. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna end this episode off here. Next episode, we are going to start by heading back to the distant tundra, grabbing the things we missed, and then heading off to our next place. Until then, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye. I forgot about this. I'm not ending yet. Thanks to the Yellow Pikmin, we were able to defeat the Venomoth Phase Bat, and much to everyone's surprise, we found our captain inside the beast. Wow, and can you believe our luck? We found a data file from someone named Olimar, who has our cosmic drive key. But where in the world is this Olimar? Where? We need that key. Right then. Now bye! <laughs>